cousin Chanel house, aka Red. We're doing a craft um, activity today at her house with um, her Cricut machine. So, I've never used a Cricut machine before, and um, this is going to be pretty interesting. So, I don't even know if she's used it before. <laughs> we may be trying to learn this thing together, <laughs> but you guys are going to find out. <laughs> oh, today, y'all see I got on my new, my Santa headband, my Santa hat headband. No hat today. Popped in a headband today. So, um, before we get into this video, you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you don't subscribe, just enjoy watching. Um, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you for your support. And let's get into this video. I'm heading to her house right now. So y'all, just ride with me. Ride with me. Cue the music. She getting a little bit too down. Have her with, like, with this elf hat. You gotta ring my bell, guys. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, on the serious too. <laughs> we are about to do a craft on her cricket machine. So, Chanel, first, what are we doing first? Stockings? That's fine. Okay, so today we're going to create a stocking, guys. We, well, we have to do what we're doing <laughs> with the stocking is we're going to put FSU on the stocking. Okay. Y'all know my house is about to be FSU decked out for holidays. So, I found these uh, stockings at Dollar Tree and... I want FSU on three stockings for our children. For me, the hubby, and Zeke. So we're gonna do these stockings first. And then what's up, what's next after we do the stockings? I have no idea. I'm gonna be goofy guys, for real. <laughs> Cause it's just me. Um, we're gonna do some aprons too guys. So we're gonna put some logos or something like that on we aprons. So we got stockings and aprons to do, guys. Yes, we got the aprons. I'm gonna get cooking with Lynn put on an apron. So we're gonna see how this this um how they come out, and we're gonna share it with your guys with you guys when we're done, and we're gonna also share the process. So. But before we get into this video, <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Have you hit it yet? <laughs> Go on. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to wait. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's get into the video. All right, tell me. <laughs> hey, guys. We're back. And um, this is my first time using the Cricut, actually. So we're going to be doing a learning experience together, guys. So... I'm gonna walk y'all through it. So, I just opened up my Cricut and I set everything up for my cousin. Um, so we got a ruler, we got a mat, the Cricut machine itself. I actually got me a, a little 
sewing tool machine for my Cricut, you guys. So in here, they give you uh, fine point Cricut pins. A little tool to use when you're uh, cutting out your uh, material right here, your vinyl material. Yeah, your vinyl material that you're gonna use on the apron or the stocking. And I just got some extra stuff in here. I got the thing um, that you plan it out with. And also the other little pieces that if we were doing other Cricut designs on different um, materials and stuff, I also have those as well. So we're gonna get all into designing the stockings, the stockings and um, Cricut. So the clear piece is to keep it from getting uh, other sticky lengths and stuff on it. So right now, this is the color my cousin wants to use on her stockings. So I'm gonna put it on here. just yet what we're gonna do is with the Cricut machine you can um, download the app so right now in my phone we're gonna go to Cricut design okay. okay guys so I have the Cricut design um, that's actually um, in my phone so you can actually Bluetooth it so we're gonna click on this um, app right here that say Cricut design and it'll bring up this. We're gonna say new project. We're also gonna go to fonts. As you can see, you can use the different fonts, but it's to your discretion if you wanna use the paid um, fonts. We're not, we're gonna find a free one. So we're gonna scroll until we see free. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna type F S U. We can also adjust it by the size. So right now we're gonna use this, but we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And we're gonna put it up there. So guys, we have our FSU um, letters and fonts. Okay, so the next step is if you look down here, okay you can do different stuff you can also upload photos too so we're gonna say make it it turns to black we're gonna also oh, okay we're gonna turn it over. okay i had to make sure i had the mirror on guys so we'll go back here Oh no, we don't, we don't want it on. So we're gonna turn it off. You can always go back and make it, make a double check. So I just had to turn the mirror on to see what it looks like, but I turned it back off. So I'm fixing to say continue. So now 
It gives you the different things that you can use. Okay. The different settings. Right. Okay. So I'm fixing to put it on the settings. So now, guys, um, we're about to get ready and cut. So it actually is going to tell me this. So right now, it's going to give you a clicking button. The click um, right here, arrow buttons mean that we're going to load it in just like that. So if you guys could see, I'm going to do it one more time. It comes out, but we're going to load it in. Okay, so when it's loaded, like this, it'll tell you press and go. We're gonna press and go. And then up here is when it say press and go in your phone, it's actually gonna give you the C for Cricut to cut it. I'm gonna click on that. It's actually loading it at the same time too, guys. So once this is all um, blacked out, it's gonna start cutting FSU. It's actually already starting. And I'm just gonna watch my phone while you guys watch the machine. And look at the letters being cut out. So now guys, it's actually done. The arrow buttons is um, actually flashing for us to eject it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that F, that S, and that U yes. is ready to go. So the next step is we will actually take it off. And I'm fixing to actually use my tool to help me get these letters off this particular material. All right, guys, so we actually got our size for um, our stockings. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And as y'all also can see, um, once the paper loaded in and came back, y'all can actually see the big FSU that we did. So now we're going to do a smaller size of the FSU. And also while this cut in, we had test different sizes. So we knew we didn't want this small size right here. We actually came back and we'll do this particular, we'll do this particular size right here. So when it's done, it's actually gonna be the same size. Yeah, we did a lot of trial and error to try to get these sizes um, the Adjusted, correct size. Corrected, mm -hmm. yeah, the correctly, sorry y'all. And it's actually a great tool to use um, as well. You can design plates, you can design glasses, you can design whatever come to mind. So it's actually a great tool to, to invest in. Um, definitely if you're a crafty uh, person.
And at this particular time, it's kind of lifting in the middle cutting, so hopefully it won't mess up our project. Um, and I don't think it will, but we do have lifting. And it's probably actually done, guys, right about now. And it's gonna alert me to release it. So I'm gonna take it out. And as you can see, guys, she was trying to um, take it off. So I'm gonna actually help her take it off. So sometime when it lifts like that, it's more easier to take off. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna use two hands because I was trying to be a pro and use one for the first time. So it'll actually come out looking like this, guys. What you guys think? Yay, <laughs> FSU. It's perfect. So I'll hand them over to my cousin so she can and these are going to be iron on and so these are all the letters that we've got printed out with the garnet and gold and right about now we're going to go ahead and iron them on and we're going to show you guys the final results we decided we are going to wait for the aprons we're going to do that another time but we're going to go ahead and finish off the stockings today and when we get back to the when we do the aprons we will most definitely be sharing that with you guys. Also guys, um, just to keep in mind, it, it do take a lot of trial and error. Um, so please have patience because if it's your uh, first time doing this like ours, it was definitely a process, okay? Yes, it was, but it's a handy dandy nice little tool. Okay, okay you guys, so uh to finish it off for the stockings um we already ironed them on so this is the finished touch um it actually turned out fine i like them yeah they are really nice uh, they came out really nice so i'm sure my husband and son gonna be super excited about these so um as she stated, this is the finished product, and we um, we wanted to make sure we shared this with you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Before we close out, I'm gonna put red in in the limelight. So y'all, um, I also uh, uh, bought the Cricut as well because um, I like to design clothes. Of course, you see me wearing the Jelly Mommy uh, shirt. This is the Jelly Mommy onesie that, um, this is the Jelly Mommy onesie that um, I also uh, created. It's um, a jelly jar with SJM in the inside. Mm -hmm. So I actually have a, a line, a clothing line, and uh, it's advertised up on the Jelly Mommy. So you can also check me out on Instagram, Strawberry Jelly Mommy. And you can also check me out on Facebook as well, jellymommy.com. So, all right, guys, check out her products. I'm going to make sure I drop her, her links in the description box. And y'all can, you know, go check her out on Instagram and Facebook. Um, of course, it was her cricket machine that helps uh, helped us get get this these stockings together. So um, she doing her thing, and um, I wanted to give her the opportunity to speak on what she had going on in, in the background um, as far as her business ventures. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if my channel interests you. If not, um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.